This image shows what archery means to us nowadays. However, this sport wasn't always like this, but it had a drastic change starting from the Egyptians until today. The earliest people known to have used bows and arrows were ancient Egyptians 50,000 years ago. However, during that time, archery wasn't yet a sport, but bows and arrows were used only for hunting and warfare. Moreover, Egyptians started to organize some archery tournaments, but only to practice warfare techniques and not for entertainment. Now, for our next step, we move to England, where archery continued to develop during the medieval era. Also during this period, archery was not just a sport. In fact, the medieval archery was extremely important for war. This clip shows a medieval archer on a horse. The first thing you notice is the difference between this bow and the bow you've seen before. In fact, nowadays bows are much more technical and lighter, which brings a lot more advantages to the archer. Nowadays, experts have introduced the archery basics checklist. Number one, stance. Number two, knocking the arrow. Number three, set. Number four, set up. Number five, draw and load. Number six, anchor. Number seven, transfer and hold. Number eight, aim and expand. Number nine, release. Number ten, follow through. During those years, many acts were introduced by governments in order to motivate people to practice archery, so useful for war. Lower class men were required to, to practice archery by law. The first archery law was passed in 1962 when all English men between the age of 15 to 60 years old were ordered by law to possess a bow and a harrow. For our next step, we have to move to Chicago, to the Olympics. The National Archery Association, NAA, founded plus held the first tournament in Chicago in 1879. This has had an important step for archery, as from 1900 it became an international sport held in the Summer Olympics. Our next step is in Poland. In Poland, in 1930, hosted the first real international tournament and organized the Federation of Archery. This specific part of archery history is the most fundamental for the development of the sport. This is because during this time, FIFA rules were organized and established. This sport had for the first time the professional players, making archery a real business attracting different stakeholders from all over the world. Now it's important to look at the financial information and how different stakeholders are involved in this uh, business. First of all, an important brand like Sky, uh, concentrating on this fundamental sport, uh, introducing uh, an archery open tournament in 2014, and where many major sponsors took part, like uh, the Sportsman Warehouse, Sky, the national TV, has bought all the rights for the international tournament of archery. 
becoming the real monopoly for this business. The Grand National Archery Society is the governing body for the sport of archery in the United Kingdom and is a member of the British Olympic Association. Listed below, we can see the different stakeholders that are involved in this organization. As you can see, this sport is involved in a number of different tournaments, such as Olympics, World Cup, World Championship. Even if the Summer Olympics are the most followed, the World Cup and the World Championship are only for professional play. The FITA is the only brand that established primarily to promote the sport of archery and seems to be the only monopoly organization of all archery. Recently, Sky has bought all the rights for the Archery World Championship becoming a real monopoly. Obviously, you can follow this sport on a, the Archery Magazine or on to any other national channel. Otherwise, you can go and see the competition real life as a supporter of your nation. In the United Kingdom, you have a lot of archery associations. As we discussed before, the Archery GB, GNAS, Field Archery, EFAA, WFAA, SFAA, and many more. Of course, there are also many international archery associations. As we said before, the FITA, that is the most important international. This is the statement of a financial position of in December 2008 of the USA Archery in the Olympics. As we can see during this year, uh, the USA government was spending a lot of money for, for this, this wonderful, wonderful sport. sport. Thank you for your time. We hope you've enjoyed it.